All right, guys, got a couple more packages in here. Uh, one of them's pretty big, so let's check these out. Do the small one first. wrapped up pretty good. Alright. Um, PC Engine game here, Legend of Hero Tonma. Um, this is one I've been after for a while. Really cool um, action platform game. Really nice, colorful graphics and everything. Um, this is Volume 5 of the IREM collection. Really nice, nice, complete condition, little foam and everything. So, really psyched to get that. This one usually costs a little bit of money. I got a pretty good deal on it, so I had to jump on this one. And on to the big one. lot of stuff in here. Just clear that out. Pretty big bundle right here. As you guys noticed in my last video, I got a bunch of new PC Engine games. I've been really on a PC Engine kick lately trying to get um, my collection all filled out. I'm going to attack this. Alright, right here I got a pretty large lot of PC Engine games, so I might as well start going through them. Um, here is a Super CD-ROM copy of Fighting Street. Um, spine card. A nice little plastic sleeve and whatnot. Looks like it's in awesome shape. Um, this is the, an arcade port of uh, the original Street Fighter game, known to be pretty crappy. Um, just one that, you know, obviously came in this big lot, so I didn't have any control of what I was picking out. And most of these games I actually don't have yet already, and this is one of them. So as much as it is a crappy game, it's, you know, there aren't too many ports of the original Street Fighter out there, I think, because they tried to bury it because it was so bad. But um, there's that one. Next is the kickboxing right here, again, with the spine card. This one's probably actually worse than Fighting Street. <laughs> Uh, pretty bad game here, but I didn't have it in the collection already, so bought that one. Uh, this one is Asuka Burning Fest Maxima. Uh, fighting game. Got the spine card with it. It's known to be an alright game. I think it's one of those girly fighting games, so it's pretty sweet. Here, another copy of uh, the Sailor Moon collection. This one's actually brand new in the shrink wrap. So that's kind of neat to get a sealed copy of it. All right, this one right here is a Pate Gate Ball. It's like, um, I guess, croquet or something, pretty much. So I don't know how playable that's going to be. Probably be able to play at least somewhat of it. Looks interesting. The Kung Fu. Um, classic game. It's Hudson Soft Volume 1 right here. So, pretty neat. Ah, this one right here. This is Strip Fighter 2. Uh, pretty much a parody, I guess, a Street Fighter 2. It's all girls, and you fight, and they take their clothes off. It's kind of one of those. It's a... An unlicensed 
game by uh, Game Games Express. They did a bunch of like really cheesy Mahjong games and like just pretty much all nudie games and they were all pretty bad. So this one just, you know, has some kind of like cheese factor to it, a little collectability just because of that factor and see the original price tag on this thing right here. It was 9,800 yen. It's about a hundred dollars that this retailed for back in the day and it still goes for a little bit of money today just because it's, I don't know how many copies they made and it's pretty, pretty cheesy. Uh, another face title right here. Uh, this one's Mahjong Gaku Ken, Gaku N is the name of this one. Um, so that should be pretty neat. Right here, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. This one comes in the double case. I've got who knows how many ports of Street Fighter 2 already, but this is just a PC Engine version, and it's actually supposed to be pretty good. So it's got the larger card in there. That's pretty neat. Um, it's one of the, the Ranma half games. I believe this is a fighting game. This one should be alright. Looks like it's got some anime cutscenes and stuff. Um, it's a Mahjong game by Atlas. This is uh, Jante Monogatari 3. Screenshots there, it looks pretty decent. Uh, copy of Mahjong Clinic Special. I picked up this one a couple weeks ago, but see which one's in better condition. I'll keep that one. Um, Super Real Mahjong P2 and 3. This is one that I also had, arcade CD ROM game. Pretty cool game. one with spine card super real mahjong p4 and this one i did not have yet so pretty neat uh, this one i was pretty excited to get uh, card angels this one's kind of harder to find it's got the spine card and everything um it's i guess pretty basic playing card game of some sort there's a few different card games that you can play in it but it's another one of those ones you know girls I guess take some of their clothes off or whatever when you win. It's kind of a, a common theme with a lot of the Japanese, I guess, hentai games. There's quite a few of them. Uh, so the original Art of Fighting here, another arcade CD-ROM game. And Fatal Fury 2. Arcade CD ROM. Here's uh, another arcade CD ROM game that I didn't have. This is part of the Kabuki series and um, it's a, a fighting game. Should be decent. Um, the name on this one it's um, Kabuki Ito Ryodan. So something like that. Just a few more here. Alright, uh, this is uh, Jante Monogatari 3, or I'm sorry, 2. I already went to 3, so I got 2 and 3 in the slot. Pretty cool. Uh, another copy of Mahjong Vanilla Syndrome. It's a decent Mahjong game. Kind of has an adventure aspect to it. Eldis. A pretty cool uh, horizontal shooter. Advanced VG um, or Advanced Variable Geo. This is another 2D fighting game and it's supposed to be pretty cool. So I have yet to play this one. Six button controllers are required for this one. And Super Real Mahjong Special. This is the first one. So now I've got most of the series on the PC Engine of these Super Real Mahjong games. So that's pretty neat. Got most of them in the slot here. So. Alright guys, that's all I've got for today, but thanks for watching.